question I get all the time from you guys is, I'm going to be living in an RV or a van, should I get a dog? So today I thought it would be a really good idea to talk about the pros and cons, because believe it or not, there are some cons of traveling with a dog to help you decide whether or not you should get a dog if you're going to be hitting the road. You're going to want to make sure you stay tuned to the very end because the last pro might actually surprise you a little bit about... Uh, you know, whether or not you should have a dog in your nomad life. What do you think, Sadie? Should they get a dog? Should they get a dog? How about a treat? <laughs> All right, let's get started. There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. Okay, so Sadie and I have four pros and four cons about living in an RV or a van or a vehicle, traveling even with a pet full time. All right, you want to get started? Sadie, you want to tell them the first con? All right. The first con, can we get down? Well, thank you. The first con about traveling or living in an RV with a pet is that it really limits where you can go and for how long. If you want to live in an RV, you want to do some sightseeing, you want to be able to go on hikes and backpacking trips and national parks, then you're going to be really limited if you have a dog. Dogs are not allowed on any trails in national parks. That's a really big one for people who like to get out and hike. And if you want to go into a city and you want to go for uh, uh, to see a show or you want to go to a museum, it's always a concern having to leave your dog behind. One way that I've been able to reduce the stress and get peace of mind leaving Sadie behind when I want to do things is by using the Waggle Pet Monitor. The Waggle Pet Monitor is so important for anyone living on the road with a pet. You leave this monitor inside the vehicle and it tells you in real time what the temperature is, what the humidity is, and what the heat index is. It works with an app on your phone that you can set up to either send you alerts if the temperature reaches a certain unhealthy, dangerous level it can you can set it to tell you if the power goes out in your RV so if you're leaving your pet behind with air conditioning on you can also just check in anytime in real time by using the app on your phone okay what's going on inside what's the temperature if you you know, want to check in more regularly than you might be alerted. So the Waggle Pet Monitor is a really, really good way to help give you peace of mind and to keep your pets safe while you're trying to live your life living in an RV. It works on a Verizon 4G signal, which means it's going to have a connection pretty much anywhere you are going to be parking your vehicle with your uh, pet inside doesn't matter what you have on your cell phone. You can have AT&T, you can have T-Mobile, it doesn't matter what you have on your cell phone. This independent little device needs a cell signal to communicate to your phone, to the app on your phone, and it's got Verizon, which is one of the most reliable signals. Trust me, I use Verizon a lot um, across the United States. And they're having a flash sale today, February 15th, 2023 today only use the link in the video description buy it on amazon and get 50 percent off it's valid for today only you don't need a discount code but you do have to use the link in the video description buy it now whether you are going to be living in an rv you do live in an rv or you're just going to be traveling with a pet or you want to buy it as a gift for somebody who does. 50% off today only, so get that today. So that's the first con of being a nomad living with your dog. It really does restrict what you can do. The second con is that you're constantly going to be in different situations and different environments. And that can be really stressful for not only you, but your dog. So if your dog hasn't been socialized a lot, if your dog if you're hitting the road and your dog has only lived in your house or in your backyard and hasn't gone for car rides with you, hasn't gone to the park with you, hasn't met other dogs and other people, hasn't gone camping with you, that can be really stressful for your dog. So know that ahead of time. Luckily, Sadie came, this is the only life Sadie has known. Sadie came home from Best Friends Animal Society. Society. This is the only life she has known. But a lot of dogs who live traditional lives have 
uh, have a little trouble transitioning into a nomadic life. It can be stressful being in a new place every day, every week, every couple of weeks for some dogs. So before you hit the road, you're going to have to start training your dog, going on trips, taking them everywhere with you, letting them sit in the car or the RV while you go into the store using your waggle pet monitor to make sure they're safe. You might have to acclimate them to this lifestyle. It can be very stressful for both of you. The third con is that vet care can be very challenging. If you travel a lot like me, you, you're in different states all the time. So when Sadie needs vet care, I'm really at the will of the reviews online. I'll Google a vet close to me. I'll read the reviews. I'll try to find the vet with the best reviews. But sometimes you're in a small town and you don't have a lot of choices, especially in an emergency. So that can be a huge con. If you're used to your pet only seeing their favorite vet, being on the road, it's going to be impossible to only see that one vet. You don't know where you're going to be. Things are going to come up. They're going to get sick. They're going to break a toenail. They're going to eat something they shouldn't eat. And you're going to have to go see a vet you're not used to. And that can be challenging. It can cost you more money than it needs to. It can cause you more stress than it needs to. And you really need to be very good at carrying your records and making sure every time you go to a vet, you have your pet's full history. And the fourth con is that pet care can be expensive. It can be expensive to have a dog on the road. So if you're on a budget, you definitely have to take this into consideration. Food, medications, vet care, grooming, all of those things can really add up. So if you're on a budget, that can be a big deal. Something to definitely consider before getting a pet. And you don't want to skimp when it comes to your pet's care. You don't want to, because you're poor, buy them the cheapest food. Uh, I, I buy Sadie's on science diet. She's on the best food I can give her because I want her to be healthy. So I'm very careful about what I feed her. And if you're thinking about getting a pet, and you're thinking, oh, I can just buy the cheapest dog food, you might want to rethink that if that's going to be what's best for the health of the dog. Okay. Do you have any more cons that I left out? Are there, is there anything that is preventing you from having a dog in your travels? Leave your comments below with hashtag con in case I forgot something. And now the pros, you know, there's a lot of pros, but there might be a couple here that surprise you. Number one, is companionship. <laughs> She's a great companion. <laughs> no, really, companionship, especially if you're going to be solo, and especially if you are not very good at being alone. Uh, a lot of people tell me all the time, you're not alone, you have a dog, and that's very true. Boy, when I lost Capone, oh, I mean, I, I went a year living on the road without a dog, and it's very, very different. Of course, I adjusted, and it was okay. The grieving part was the hardest, but having a dog is just great companionship. And it actually, there are studies that show that, that people who have dogs have higher survival rates, fewer heart attacks, they're less lonely, they have better blood pressure. There's a lot of really good reasons that, that to have a dog that their companionship brings to your well-being. Number two... Uh, pro is it really is good for your mental health pets dogs especially help reduce anxiety stress help with depression so it's a really good idea if you struggle with any of those um, mental health challenges it might be a really good idea for you to get a dog on the road as long as the cons aren't going to be too overwhelming for you so dogs are really really good for your mental health as well the third pro is exercise dogs can really keep you healthy especially if you get somebody <laughs> something like sadie i mean this dog she needs a lot of exercise and so she gets me out even sometimes when i don't want to she reminds me i need to take a break from work and go out and play i get a lot of exercise because of sadie because she Oh, did she just burp? Because she needs a lot of exercise. So if you're someone who likes to get outside or needs to get outside or wants to get outside more, a dog might be a really good choice for you to help you get motivated to go outside and get more exercise. Like I said, dogs can actually improve your cardiovascular health. So that's a, that's a proven fact in the studies that I have seen. All right.
So Sadie, what do you think? Okay, you want to get a treat? You want to get a treat? You want to say hi? All right. And the final pro, and I'm sure a lot of you have already thought about this, is safety. A lot of people just feel safer with a dog. And depending on the kind of dog, I mean, a little chihuahua probably isn't going to scare off anybody who might be wanting to come to cause problems. And I honestly don't even know. But a lot of people have said that if anybody um, wanted to mess with me, Sadie would, would not have that at all. That Sadie would probably react to that. I don't know. I don't really want to know. But what she is good, she's an excellent alarm system anything moves outside my rig for better or for worse oh you give me kisses okay she's like see i love you i'll protect you you gonna protect me she protects me are you gonna protect me she is but if anything moves outside my rig at night this girl lets me know even when i'm camped with friends people she knows and loves and like adores if they come outside at night, she barks. She lets me know they're outside. It's kind of weird even when she knows people. But that level of safety can provide a lot of comfort and peace of mind for people, especially people who might be afraid to do this in the beginning, might be afraid to be alone. But whether or not your dog is going to physically protect you, they can be a great, even a chihuahua, can be a great alarm system. And of course, if you really are concerned about your safety and you want something that's going to protect you, the bigger dog with the bigger bark is going to be a little bit more intimidating. So I think that that, that safety and having a built-in um, um, alarm system is a really great pro for having a dog. You know what? The biggest pro, <laughs> the biggest pro is just this. <laughs> it's just... She is, she's my everything. She's my world, you know? And you guys, all you dog owners, you can relate. She's everything to me. And uh, that love and companionship, you just you just can't replace that. So to me, that is definitely worth the, the little cons that there are. You know, yeah, I might be a little limited in what I can do. I might not be able to do the backpacking and the hiking and the places that I want to go, but I don't care. I have the love of my life right here. So, all right. Did I forget any pros of having uh, a dog in your RV life or traveling with a dog? Leave your comment below with hashtag pro and let me know. And don't forget to get your waggle flash sale, 50% off. Great deal. Get your waggle today. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, oh, one before I do that, please subscribe to my channel. And even if you think you are already subscribed, you need to double check because YouTube is unsubscribing people again. So go ahead, do that right now. Double check. Sadie says, please, please double check. And I will see you next time, Sadie and I. And in the meantime, be happy, be free. Can you say be kind? Woof. Can you speak? What do you think? <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Bye.